Hello, hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Oksana and today I'm continuing sharing with you summer series of yoga practice. Today practice is spectacular. We're gonna cover full body, wake up that energy and push the blood to circulate to make you feel fresh and amazing through the day. Grab the mat and I'll see you there. Please consult your doctor and make sure that the practice is suitable for you. Take care and enjoy. Hello and welcome to the practice. Let's begin coming to the front of the mat, feet together, mountain position, rolling the shoulders up, back and down, opening the chest, relaxing palms by the hips, palms facing forward, closing your eyes, bringing focus inward, slowly inhale and slowly exhale, let it all go. Take a short moment to get grounded and center it. Let's bring the palms together over the heart. Blink your eyes and open. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward bend. You can bend your knees slightly. Inhale, take a halfway, hands over the shins. Exhale, roll up to the standing. Inhale, reach up. Let's repeat. Exhale, flat back, forward bend. Inhale to open some space. Exhale, vertebra in the time, roll up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, take a halfway. And let's pose here. You can keep your palms over the shins or over the thighs, back straight, neck as long as your spine. Take an inhale, exhale, step your right foot back into the runner's lunge. Align your front knee with the ankle. You can drop your back knee down as well. Continue breathing. Notice how you're feeling through the hip flexors today. Gently drop the back knee down. Half split. Move your front back a foot a bit forward. Take an inhale, exhale, weight down. And again, inhale, open up, exhale, wave down. Inhale, exhale. And let's find some stillness. Resting, upper body over the left leg. Make sure that your right hip and right knee over each other. Let's start rebanding the left knee, right palm on the mat and left arm up into the easy twist. Try to keep your arms in one line with the shoulders, gazing up to the sky. Release the left palm, bring the back knee up. And let's step the left foot back into the high plank. Align your wrists and shoulders over each other. Let's keep our feet together. And rock forward backward to warm up the wrists. Keep your core engaged as well as your glutes. Let's stay a bit longer. Warming up the powerhouse of the body. Keep pressing the mat away from you. Strong arms and shoulders. Take an inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Press your hips up. And let's take our dog for a walk, bending the knees one by one. Meanwhile, align your hands with the shoulder distance apart. Relax your head and neck. Find some stillness, pressing the heels down into the mat, and now bend your knees and let's step forward to the front, finding halfway as you inhale, exhale, fall down, take an inhale, exhale, roll up to the standing, 
Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, palms to the heart. Samasthiti. Let's take one more big inhale, reach up. Exhale, fall down. Inhale, find your halfway lift. Exhale, this time we're going to step the left foot back into the runner's lunge. Front the ankle over each other. Make sure that your hips facing forward. Well done guys, let's drop the back knee down and then transition into the half split. Remember you can always move your front foot forward to adjust alignment hips and knee. You need to take in, again some waves through the spine, inhale and exhale forward bend or you can just find a stillness and relax over the right leg. Relax through the shoulders, relax through the head and neck. If it's early morning, your body might be stiff and full of tension. So don't push too much, don't force your body. Stay in comfortable zone. Let's rebend our right knee and please perform here easy spinal twist as I'm sorry that I forgot it. We're gonna step the right foot back into the plank position and we're gonna stay for a moment here continue reconnecting with the core center you can stand the plank or join me for shoulder taps tapping each shoulder 10 times trying not to swing the hips keeping the core tight Well done guys, take an inhale, shift your weight forward, exhale Chaturanga Dandasana. Lower down to the mat completely, palms by your ribcage. Inhale Cobra, elbows by the ribcage, exhale lower. Let's repeat, inhale, press into the palms, lengthen through the crown of the head and exhale lower. And again, inhale. Exhale, we're going to lift both legs into the locust pose, squeezing the glutes, lifting the palms of the ground, squeezing the shoulder blades, gazing forward and slightly down. Try to keep your feet together, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and release, press back into the short Balasana Child pose, relax your lower back head and neck and then once you're ready let's come back tabletop position align your wrist and the shoulders knees and the hips toes under and let's bring the palms facing toward to each other and start rocking side to side so the fingers toward to each other start lifting the palms one by one there is lots of mosquito guys so <laughs> I have to be careful not to cut a lot of bites. So continue moving. And now we're going to bring the fingers outward and start doing circles, big circles. One direction. And then second direction. Well done. And this time we're going to upside down our palms. Maybe one palm at a time or maybe two. Be careful. And you can try to shift your weight, your hips back to the end of the mat. If it feels good. Interlace your fingers and let's draw the number 8 through the wrist. And reset here. And then second direction. Let's shake it out, everything, well done. Coming back to the tabletop position. 
tuck the toes under, press into the palms, lift your hips, downward dog. Couple of breath in and out through the nostrils or sometimes if you feel there is too much tension inside, let it go through the mouth. Keep your feet with the hip distance apart and let's reach the right hand to the opposite leg, catching the calf muscle or ankle, performing spinal twist, keeping the hip square and looking out through the left armpit. Let's switch to the other side, and this time left hand to the opposite leg, twisting the spine gently, keeping the hip square. And back to the mat, downward dog position, and you can hop a step forward to the front. Inhale, finding your space and the halfway lift. And big exhale, forward bend. Inhale, exhale, roll up to the standing. Reach through the palms, fingers. And exhale, release palms by your hips. Let's perform cheer. With Katasana, inhale, drop the hips low, reach your arms up. Shifting the weight to the heels. Looking through the fingertips. And let's see if we can lift our heels off the ground in control, balancing on the toes and lowering down the hips. Take an inhale and release everything into the Uttanasana. Inhale halfway, exhale step back or jump back plank position. And we're going to perform side plank, right palm in the center of the mat. We're going to open up to our left, stacking the feet, hips and shoulders over each other. Can you lift your hips a bit higher, engaging oblique muscles? Next pose is tree pose, bending the left knee, staying in the tree pose or wild thing, left foot behind your right, pressing the hips up, opening through the heart. So you have two options, side plank with a tree pose or wild thing. Let's get back to the tree pose and step that left foot forward to the front of the mat. Align your left foot, knee ankle over each other. And I'm going to stay in the lizard pose for pretty long time. So I'm going to just start rocking forward, backward and maybe dropping the elbows down you are welcome to stay on the palms and you can close your eyes finding lots of stretch lots of opening shedding lots of energy through the all spaces where you feel tension Let's perform our open twist, right palm on the mat, left arm up. Keep your belly soft. Exhale, release. Skandasana to the end of the mat. Bend your right knee and lower down through the hips. Palms can stay on the mat or over your heart. Release your palms down, press up into the wide leg stance, keeping the toes in and heels out. Inhale, take a halfway, exhale, forward bend. Let's walk our hands behind us. Releasing the whole spine, head and neck, toe to the ground. Trying to keep the kneecaps in, legs are straight. Start walking the hands back. Let's align our palms on the mat. And we're gonna go for the arms balance. Easy one. 
So we're going to bend the right elbow, right knee, and bring that right knee over the right tricep, lifting the right foot off the ground. So your left leg straight, look forward. Great job. Well done. This time we're going to transition back to the front, into the pyramid pose. You might need to step your back foot a bit forward. Square the hips, take an inhale and exhale, fold over the left leg. And just release completely through the upper body. Feeling the stretch from the sacral spine all the way down to the cervical spine. Take your time here. Alright guys, let's slowly getting back. We're gonna go to the warrior three prep, keeping the fingertips in touch with the mat. Lifting the right leg and try to drop the right hip a bit lower to level your both hips. Back right foot is flexed, toes pointing down. Find your spot, your twisty, and stay. Now in control, bending the left knee, see if you can lift your right knee up to the chest into the one leg mountain and then transition into the tree pose right foot inside of the left inner thigh or it can be calf muscle palms to the heart gently send your right knee back opening through the hip flexors the next pose is standing pigeon pose right foot over the left thigh palms to the heart Make sure that you flex your right foot to protect your knee. You can stay here or perform spinal twist, right palm in them on the mat and left arm up. And you can try again. So it's not easy as you can see. I lost the balance as well. So let's stay here. Find the twisty that sport and breathe. In control. Let's get back to the pigeon, all the way up to the one leg mountain, and then we are done. Well done, guys. Let's reset a little bit, bend the knees one by one, shake it out, everything. And let's come back to the inhale, reaching the arms up, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, let's open some space, Uttanasana B. Exhale, jump back to Chaturanga Randasana directly. Inhale, up for a dog. Open some space in your chest. And exhale, drop the knees and relax in the child pose. Let's switch to the second side. Let's get back to our tabletop. And let's meet in downward dog as we exhale. And let's align everything properly. Feet and hands. Take an inhale, let your stomach rise up and exhale through the mouth, let it all go. Inhale back to the plank position and we're going to come back to the side plank to our right. So left palm in the center of the mat and right arm up. Lift your hips a bit higher, engage your side muscles. Remember there is a two options, you can stay in the tree pose, bringing the right foot over the calf or inner thigh. Or you can transition with me to the well thing, bringing the right foot behind the left and pressing up through the hips and chest. Back to the tree pose, slowly in control. We're gonna step that right foot forward to the front. 
into the lizard pose palms inside of the right foot back like a straight you can a little bit charge the pose dropping the elbows down and just relax for a moment let everything feel heavy no control back to the palms if you are in the elbows left palm on the floor and right arm up open twist make sure that your right knee and toes still looking forward hips parallel the floor release your right palm down and we're gonna go for skandasana to the end of the mat again to the left leg palms to the heart flex your right foot staying and breathing here and start releasing the fingertips down press up to Prasarita Parutanasana align your toes in and heels out Two second fingers, we're gonna grab the big toes. Inhale, take a halfway, exhale, forward bend. The crown of the head reaching down, elbows bend, upper back, shoulder blades are opening, as well as the hips and hamstrings. And let's release our palms back to the mat and remember that one leg balance so this time we're gonna perform it on the left leg and left elbow beautiful job guys let's come back to the front of the mat we're bending the right knee if you need for a moment and then the pyramid pose take a halfway to inhale and exhale fold over the right leg so just double check with your feet both of them are flat it should be comfortable stance between both feet and try to square the hips feel the stretch through the right leg through the back of your leg relax completely through the spine all right let's start shifting the weight forward pick up the back leg which is your left prep warrior three and remember to try to level the both hips gentle bend in your right knee just to protect And in control, see if you can, without touching the mat, rise up into the one leg, mountain, bending the left knee, and then meeting me in the tree pose. Palms to the heart. Pushing the right hip forward and left hip externally back. All right, let's have some fun with this standing pigeon pose. Bringing the left foot over the right front eye, squatting down, bringing the palms to the heart. You can stay here or you can move into the spinal twist. At least try, maybe fall, it's okay. So left fingertips down, right arm up. You can use a block here as well if you have at home. All right, doing great. 
and let's start releasing the right thumb down and let's come up to the standing and release the left foot down and we are done with both legs was not easy let's come back to the front open the feet a bit wider and malasana squat here palms to the heart elbows inside of the knees and press your knees externally back is straight look forward close your eyes if it feels good for you remember jai breath inhaling and exhaling Remem remember that sound of the ocean as you exhale And let's stay a bit longer. And releasing the hips back to the mat. Stretch your arms forward, keeping the knees bent. Lift your both feet up into the Navasana boat pose. Keep your chest proud. Flex your both feet. Stay, stay, stay. And then release your palms behind your hips. We're gonna go for the reverse tabletop, pressing the hips up. Press into the palms, press into the feet, both firmly. I would suggest you to keep your chin slightly tucked to the chest, or at least neck in one line with your spine. And let's release our hips down to the mat using the core lower down vertebra at the time to the mat pull the knees into the chest and let's perform happy baby pose grabbing the feet outside if it's too hard you can catch your big toes you're welcome to swing side to side if it feels good or find stillness Gently pulling the knees into the armpits and already closing your eyes. We're almost there. And slowly releasing the legs. One more hug, knee to the chest, and then swing side to side. And we're gonna release our legs. I'm gonna open the legs as a butterfly shape, keeping the feet together. You can stretch your legs to the corners of the mat if it feels good for you. And we're gonna stay in mini Shavasana allowing our body to absorb all benefits of our practice today remember you can stay as long as you want to as your body wants to allow yourself to relax completely allow your breath to travel through the whole body and with every new out breath Letting go any tension, relaxing more and more, softening your facial muscles, relaxing your teeth and tongue, eyes, and space between your eyebrows, relaxing your arms and shoulders. Relaxing the hips, knees, feet, from the tips of the toes up to the crown of the head, body is resting. Remember you can stay longer. I'm going to collect my knees together. I believe I fed mosquitoes enough, so I'm going to slowly come back. 
turn to any side, right or left, it doesn't matter, keeping your eyes closed. And then come to this sitting position. And let's take an inhale, reaching the arms up, collecting all positive vibes. And let's send it to the brain, to the mind. One more big inhale, reach the arms up. Bumps to the heart. I wish you peace in your heart. And one more inhale, reach. And exhale, bow forward. Namaste, everyone. And thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you had lots of fun and joy. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share my videos.